tonight you took out the UFC's number five ranked fighter. Is anything short of a title shot something you consider at this point? Of course I want that gold belt. Don't try and tell me that that gold belt would not look great to go alongside this ivory elephant trunk suit that I have got on me right now. It would look perfect. It's been under a year since ACL Surya have had two fights, two first round finishes. Would you doubt me? You probably did. But would you doubt me now? This is this is nuts, yeah. This is all I expect from now, yeah. <laughs> Never going back the other way. How much is that now? Seven and a half grand. So I love it. Damn, eleven nights. How's that? Nearly fifty, sixty, seventy grand. Seven and a half thousand dollars. Sixty. It was already calculated. Sixty-seven and a half grand. That is madness. That is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just to beat up a few bums on the <laughs> on the occasion on Saturday night. It's a handy life we live. I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is literally what it's all about. It's something else. Just a little bit of champagne in the bucket in the bottle. Got your large coffee, your two large waters, your two omelets, and your eggs benedict. Brilliant. And three sides of berries. We'll take care of the rest. Thank you so All much. All right, you're welcome. You. Enjoy your breakfast. Breakfast is served. <laughs> well, you not, not got the guns for now, huh? It's like really slippery. There you go. <laughs> Pressure is on now. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be getting up at like half five, quarter to six in the morning. Pitch black out, freezing. I used to stand on the side of the M50 and I used to wait for this bloke from Limerick to drive by the M50. The walk was about two, two and a half hours drive away. And then I'd be on that building site for 12, 14 hours a day. Then another two, three hours drive back. I remember when I decided to just pack it all in. I was sitting in the car park on the building site. It was dark and horrible, it was pissing out. I'm just looking out and I'm saying, I'm out of here. I don't give up. The only thing that was stopping me was my elbow. But I just did it. I said, I don't give up. Went back, said I'm not doing that job anymore. I'm going to chase this. And my dad didn't agree with it. We had proper, proper, full on fights. Didn't speak for a good while. You know what I mean? It was just a mad, horrible time. It's a normal Irish relationship, I think, which I have with my parents, with my mum and dad. They, 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 they. They chase you up the stairs with the sweeping brush from time to time. Uh, that's just normal, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> Is it normal? It's normal in Ireland. <laughs> it's normal in Ireland. But I was fast though, yeah? I was quick on my feet. Straight up them stairs. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> I, I even had a technique. Just hold the handle from underneath rather than pushing the door. That's a frame. That's a frame, you know what I mean? <laughs> That was, that was day one jiu-jitsu, yeah, but I just didn't even realize it.
praise the notorious. <laughs> I've never seen anything yeah. like that yeah. night in Ireland. It, it was phenomenal. It was yeah. insane. It was phenomenal. In a great way. And it's absolutely insane back home now. These things that are happening for me, these good things that fill me with like gratitude, drive me to the gym. That is the quality that most successful people have. Yeah. Is that they, they're never so. like, all right, we're here, we made yeah. it, this is it. The people that are at that top level, satisfaction is something they don't get. And that's not something with me, you know, I don't feel, I don't ever feel fully satisfied. You know, my balance is getting better, my flexibility is getting better. I'm, I'm just so much more aware of my body now. And I'm gonna keep going. Every contest, I will get to that next level, mark my words, until, until there is no one left. Until it's the UFC, one. It's just me. That's it. You made the move like every Irish fighter has. You started in Ireland, yeah. went to Boston. And now I'm taking over Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my office will be next door. <laughs> Family life still stays the same. I'm back. Back. Yay. <laughs> oh, what is this thing? Seiko chronograph. Probably <laughs> <laughs> got my seven watch, you know, I like watches. It's cool, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? See how we're gonna do it. It's nice. Every man should have a watch collection. And every man should have a watch wardrobe. You don't have a watch wardrobe. <laughs> no, seriously, there is such a thing as watch wardrobe. Is that a case? No? The case with the watches? It's body? like a little jewelry box for, yeah, for watches, yeah. 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 Honestly, I mean, if you have a collection of uh, yeah. watches, you should have a watch wardrobe. Yeah, it's so, great. I hope you like it's it. A, it's a statue next, it yeah? Is, yeah. <laughs> Let's get the statue in the works. Yeah. We fought wars on this street. <laughs> Literally wars were fought on this street. And there's my hand to face up there. <laughs> Here we go again, boys. Another, another day, another sea. The only thing I want for him is success. The level of success, it really is the sky's the limit. The world is his oyster now, you know? It's just a steady progression, you know, to the belt, to the ultimate fighting championship title. Jose Aldo is the holder of the title now at the moment. But he better hold on to that title with a firm grip because Connor is knocking on, on his door. We'll actually go to every favela to get Jose Aldo. We will get him. We will corner him and we will take that title. <laughs> <laughs> BT Sport, beyond the octagon. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Just drive, my man, hit the mules, hit the tunes. <laughs> Put the feet up. Brazil has always been on, on my list of places I'd like to travel and see. And so of course I'm gonna enjoy myself. I don't have to cut weight, I'm not there to compete. Hello. Can I get a selfie? Selfie ID, keep the heat as it be. Oh, man. The Brazilian fans are wild like the Irish fans are, so I'm gonna have fun with it. Cause chaos. Oh. 
Nice, man. Nice, man. I really like that as well. You like it? Lovely. Don't touch it. <laughs> because of your reputation as the, the toughest trash talker in the business, with this, we've just got a few... I prefer like truth that. talker. <laughs> the smartest <laughs> truth talker. OK, I remember that. But we've got a few... Um, Different lines sort of from movies, from Muhammad Ali, stuff like that. And just wondered if you could... Say them? Yeah. Oh, but yeah. if you could sort of act it out a bit, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, do you I know what I mean? Like acting. I'll speak it in my voice and then we'll just do okay. it. Are you going to bark all day, little doggy? Or are you going to bite? You talking to me? I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. You talking to me? I'm going to hit you so hard that when you wake up, your clothes will be out of style. Are you talking... I'm no Clint, but I'll whoop his ass up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking to you, by the way. Yet. <laughs> he has captured the imagination of the world. Please welcome the pride of Dublin, Irish superstar Conor McGregor. <laughs> I hold the key to the biggest attendance, the biggest gate, the football stadiums. I hold the key to that. And they know I hold the key to that. So I am the number one contender. Ultimately, I already envisioned the belt as mine. In this game, as long as you are fit, as long as you are healthy, get in and compete. Get in and get rich. You know what I mean? That, that's my approach on it anyway. Because anything can happen in this game and you could be sitting out. And maybe the fact that that happened to me in, in the Holloway fight has given me that urge, you know, whereas other fighters would like to sit out and wait for the title shot. I am already, in my mind, the champion. Let's just continue racking up them bills. We can't wait for Connor to get down to Brazil. You'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> You'll be there tomorrow evening, won't you? Yeah, I'll be on the Copacabana in my speedos. <laughs> in the armoured car. He had, his, he had his piece, and I, I was trying to get him to go over to the favelas, but they were saying, if we go to the favelas now, we won't come back. <laughs> They're going to come aware of circus. We're going to be on the beach. It's for Brazilian TV or something they want me to do it, so I'd say it's going to be something else. These guys can move. <laughs> A big army following me. Three, three blokes armed. A load of women. I feel like the king. That's something else, isn't it? Absolutely phenomenal. The control and the stability that they possess is unbelievable. You'd be in Rio de Janeiro doing capoeira. I literally start watching that on YouTube, like just little clips, oh, yeah. and just going and playing in the, in the gym uh -huh. with it, not even knowing what I was doing. And to be here with them people is unbelievable. Deadly that was. I'm now sipping a coconut. What's up, Connor? What's up, man? Hello, Connor. How are you? Hey, how are you? Another day in the armoured. <laughs> uh, show, show the camera, guy. Show him the angle up, turn the angle up. See? Possible when I go out this QA to have him there with the pistol in his hand? Of course not. Why? <laughs> Is it possible to have him just there with his hands crossed and the shades on? I just like that, looking out on my shoulder. I'll have to ask. Just in case. That would be a statement, yeah? <laughs> I'm about to make a walk. It's the same feeling as every walk. You make a fight walk, you make a... It's that same kind of feeling you get. It's, it's just a normal feeling for me, a normal emotion. Vamos fazer barulho para receber a sensação irlandesa Conor McGregor. Olá, senhores!
senoritas! Connor, what is your expectation for tomorrow night? It doesn't matter what way the contest is gonna be, because there's only one champion here, and they know that, the UFC know that, that's why they flown me over here. I'm gonna take your hometown boys' belt. When I swing that left hook, the human school cannot take it. Your boy will fall if we face. I'm still alive! I'm still alive! Talk is cheap! Connor, look here. First, don't talk, fight. And the second, I'll just mess you. Look at her face. Yeah, man! Yeah! I look at his head when I raise it! Look at I'll his face! I'll raise his head! He's on Thailand! He's the jungle! I'll do smash you. Only this I talk for you. Come down here and kiss my feet. <laughs> McGregor. Hola, senorita. Você é o que a gente é conhecido aqui como frango. Frangão. E José Aldo vai fazer você beijar a Luna. It is easy to say that while you are all the way up there. É, Come é, down é, here and say it. Vai beijar a Luna. Let's go. Vem cá, nessa aqui. It is great to see the passionate Brazilian crowd. You are not as passionate as the Irish crowd, but you still okay. I look forward to coming and challenge, uh, challenging Jose Aldo for the belt. Valeu. Ireland versus Brazil. Let's do it. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow night. Obrigado a todos. Nos vemos amanhã noite. Bless you. Pessoal, bless you. muito obrigada pela presença de todos. A gente vai dar continuidade com a pesagem. Estamos apenas 24 horas nesse grande evento. What you got? What you got? I tell you what, they're passionate people. And I love that, I love seeing passion for the game, you know what I mean? Whether it's about the respect of the martial artist or whether it's you want your hometown to win, you know what I mean? I love that. It's a dome. It's brilliant. It's a brave venue. Imagine that in Ireland. And this final round could very well decide the winner of this fight. Five minutes remain. Mendez strikes first. decision. All three judges scored the contest. 49, 46 for the winner. And still the undisputed UFC Pelway champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. You've got a lot of guys who want the next shot at that belt. Who do you want to fight next? Tem um rei, tem um príncipe. E agora surgiu o bobo da corte aí que tá falando muito. Então vamos ver, né? Então o Renato tá completo. Agora tem o rei, tem o Chad, que é o príncipe aí da categoria. E tem um bobo, só faltava esse. I think I'll face anyone who ever they put in front of me. I'm here as a champion. You know, I think the court is complete here. I'm the king, Chad's the prince, and now we have a joker. Well, incredible, incredible performance. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Jose Aldo. The division seems to be full of rookies and has-beens. Jose, I feel, is in that pattern of deterioration. Now it's about maintenance. Now it's about showing up at the gym and getting rounds on rounds. And then throughout, wars in the gym, wars in the octagon, your body deteriorates. It's not about growth anymore, it's about maintenance. And that is what I feel has happened with Jose, and that is what I feel was what has happened with a lot of these people. That is why I feel I am different than these people. 
I have no problem getting in and eliminating these people and carrying on my journey.